This episode of Bear Podcast is brought to you by Drenched Fur. Go to drenchedfur.com for more info. <laughs> Bear Podcast, episode 403. Just makes you all fuzzy inside. So was it all lube? What kind of lube? Okay, you're ready. But, he's got a, but in the picture that he's got on, it looks like he's got a bear. Oh, I got to see lots of bears playing. What? You mean you didn't have your podcast equipment with you? It's actually plants killing zombies. Would it be better to go there and then get sick afterwards? <laughs> Well, I don't know. It depends on what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Me and James have a lot in common. We're both tasty like Matt Bear problem. Don selling his thong, okay. having it auctioned off. I think he got one hundred fifty dollars just for his thong. Your question of the week. The second <laughs> question of the week. Oh, we really want instant gratification. In the yeah, those bears get around. Everybody knows everybody in this world. Welcome everyone to Bear Podcast. This is Nard, and this is Ray. And welcome to episode 403. And in our studio audience, we have Buddy and we have Dave. Dave. Hey, Dave. Okay. Hi. Um, in studio guest. In studio guest. In studio ho. In <laughs> studio ho. <laughs> hey. So, Leonard, how was your weekend? It's pretty good. I had fun with Mike. We went, I went, I drove to New Orleans and uh, I was there for a weekend and we did we did a lot of movie watching. We watched, uh, what did we watch? We watched uh, Contraband starring Mark Wahlberg. And we also got to watch uh, The Artist. The Artist, I strongly suggest you watch it, Ray, because it's like watching in the 1920s. Because it's it's a silent movie. Well, I, well I've seen the, the previews for it saying it's one of the better movies of the year or something. Yeah, it is. Yeah, actually, I think it's uh, uh, nominated to be... Uh, uh, in the Academy Awards, I think so. That's but that would be interesting next month. Yeah, and I think they just announced that, so we'll have to talk about that on the next show. I think the nominees for a cat for the Oscars. So. Yeah, that's right. Um, and and what did you think about this week's Big Bang? Big Bang Theory. Theory. Well, let me see. They have new episodes now, right? You yeah. noticed? It was kind of shallow. The <laughs> the jokes were shallow. Like like uh, they were talking about what I thought the whole. Uh, Get, getting wood and stuff. Yeah, that, that oh. was that was Kitty. But the mm. whole but the whole Spock thing. The Spock thing, yeah. With Leonard 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 Leonard, 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 Nemo. Leonard Nimoy versus Zachary Qu- uh, Quinto. Uh, Quinto Quinto mm-hmm. um, was pretty funny. Yeah, uh, I guess he would Sheldon would just settle for for his Zachary Quinto. So. I think I take Zachary he, because Quinto he was good at heroes. Might as well get him. Yeah, yeah so. but yeah, I've been enjoying. Um, Big Bang Theory for the past few days because they, they it, it's Big Bang Theory every night. They have uh, they they uh, rerun uh, old shows and stuff. Oh. And, and you haven't seen all the old shows? I've seen the old shows. Just that watching it again is like watching it for the first time again, for the first time. Short term <laughs> memory loss. No, it's just I just enjoy it a lot. I like Big Bang Theory. Mm-hmm. Do you watch? I mean, do you, when you catch Big Bang Theory, do you stop and watch the whole the whole, the whole episode? No. Or you skip like the it. new ones, yeah. The new ones, oh good. Well, oh, the new yeah. ones, even the old ones. I enjoy the old ones. Well, no, because usually I remember when I see an episode. If I seen it before, I was like, oh yeah, I saw this one, and keep going. Mm-hmm. So, oh, that's right. Well, I still watch it anyway. I'm kind of nerdy so. like that. Okay, so how about you, Ray? What's up uh, on your side of the? Let's see. Went with Julio yeah. to see uh, Underworld Evolution on Friday. That's, that's the third, right? The third installment of Underworld. <laughs> No, it's the fourth installment. Fourth installment? Because there was Underworld 1 and 2, and then there was the one with the lichens and the vampires. That was that whole storyline. Oh. And this is the one back with Kate Beckinsale back in it. Wait a second. That was a Spielman. prequel. That was a prequel, yeah. That's like, right. That's the last what, one was a prequel, and then this one. The third one was a picks prequel. Picks up 12 years from where the other one last off, because the humans found out about the vampires and werewolves. That's right. Okay. And stuff. And it was a whole big drama with that. So it was pretty good. So um, it's nice to see Kate Beckinsale back in the uh, tight leather. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought there was going to be more Scott Spielman, but there was not. I was kind of bummed about that. Mm-hmm. But I was glad to see two of the actors in the movie, the one that played one of the newest vampires, David, um, was also in a BBC show that I watched called Bedlam. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, and unfortunately, unlike Bedlam, they did not show him half naked all the time because he's hot. Oh, okay. And then... Um, 
the werewolf character that played the super werewolf in the movie is on the new uh, sci-fi show, Lost Girl. He plays one of the Fae. So it's kind of interesting to see him in a different role. Oh. So. Which none of them I, I follow. <laughs> so. Well, for, for the other geeks and nerds out there that follow those, that, you know, they're in Underworld now. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, and then okay. Saturday, I didn't do too much. And then Sunday, you missed out on the big pool party. I was driving back. I was driving back from New Orleans, so I, I missed the pool party. So how, how was the H-E-B pool party at the... The pool the party Midtown at the spa. Midtown Spa was very good. I had a great time. Got there, set up. So what's wrong with going to a bathhouse, right? Exactly. You're going to hang out with your friends. All I got to say is there there are some members that bitch about us doing that, that bitch about stuff going on, you know, us doing stuff at the bathhouse. But those same members are at private pool parties, sucking and cock, like there ain't no tomorrow. <laughs> and not thinking nothing about it. But because they got to go to a bathhouse, it's a different right. story. <laughs> I, who was that? I'm not looking at you. <laughs> I'm not, looking, I'm not, at not looking at you. Dave. I'm no. not looking at you. you were out of <laughs> if you weren't, if you didn't, if you were were able to come this weekend, you would have come. I know. Yeah, I, I would have. So um, you would have come fun. a lot too. <laughs> yeah, so. But it's actually uh, worked out yeah. very good for me because their hot tub was like super hot. I mean, you couldn't stand it too long. It was so freaking hot. But it was did wonders for our back, and I was just relaxed. And David P went with me and. We just hung out and had a good time. And David lot, peed David, on you. <laughs> David did not pee on me. David, uh, that da- the David P. Yeah, his name is David P. So okay. um, he went with me. We just hung out. Um, there's a lot of people that were using the exercise facilities there. Um, so there's so they lot, went. There's to, a lot of exercising going on, but they but it's basically have fun. Okay. They really of, use the facilities, or you're talking about the weights? No, not really. No. They yeah. were. They went to go exercise. Oh, okay. Exercise the right. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. But that's that. I missed. I I will attend next time. I will attend. The so. Next but then time. I invited some other people because you know it was a real good deal to get in or something like eight bucks to get in or something or something like that. And I forgot what what it is now. But they're like, oh, you're going to a bathhouse. I'm like, bitch, I'm sitting your ass sucking dick on the patio of the ripcord. What are you talking about? I know. And then there were people like. Uh, we'll be serving. We'll be serving uh, hot dogs and burgers there at the, at the uh, bath. Did, did Did you guys serve any food? There? We had sandwiches and a fruit tray. See, I don't see anything wrong beer. with that. So and it was a said, private party. I mean, literally, we we they yeah. closed off the pool area for us. There you go. See, I mean, we let, I mean when party. other people come in, we let them come in. What's the we, difference if you go to a naked pool party in somebody's house, house and or you go into going something to like that? So yeah. Not any raunchier than any other pool parties I've no, ever been not, to. Not a, In not, fact, not I don't think work. it got as that raunchy because they had places that people that really wanted to go get f- fucking and screwing around had a place to go because they could go rent a room or they could go upstairs in the maze or something. And they're all half priced. And they're all half priced. That's right. <laughs> I thought this was a kids friendly uh, podcast. <laughs> no. We did, no. No, this is not. This is a family. No, so, and like, you know what? I understand people that that's not their scene. They don't want to go to a bathhouse. That's fine. Mm-hmm. But you know, I don't go to a bathhouse and fuck around. I go to a bathhouse because I can be naked and get in the pool and eat the hot tub and have a good time. Just hang out. Just to hang out. I like to be naked. When, be naked, be naked uh, and hanging out with friends. That's always nice. Doing that also in a in a water park is also fun, especially if it's splashing on your head. Speaking of uh, water, water parks, parks. <laughs> but you can't be naked at Drench for well. You at least not at the park at Drench for. Not at the park. Maybe in the yeah. hotel rooms at okay. Drench for, but. So we have a special uh, uh, maybe interview that, today. Uh, yeah, we got the interview. Oh, and you know what we forgot to ask Gary about what? when we did the interview. Yeah, we forgot to ask him about that midnight party special in his room that he does. It's clothing optional. The, oh, the clothing optional at his room. In okay. his room. That's right. That's right. I forgot about Gary, that. tell us more about it later, okay? That's right. You got to send, you got to send us a voicemail about that. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, uh, a while ago, we had an interview with Gary Snyder. He's the uh, Drenchford coordinator, and we talked about Drenchford will be that will be happening on March 29th. And Ray and I are going, and Dave here also is going. So, here's our interview with Gary. Hey everyone, this is Nard. And this is Ray. And joining us today is the run coordinator of Drenched Fur, Gary Snyder. Hey, Gary. Hey, guys. How are you? Long time no see, I guess. Well, now we've seen each other. We, we see each other online. but uh, And uh, Drenched Fur, Ray and I are going. At That's last. right. I'm yeah. so happy to hear that. I, I'm actually very excited to have yes. both of you. And 
Ray, being a drenched for a virgin, will try to be nice to you. Oh, Lord. I'm going to try to be nice. Oh, my God. I don't know why it was going to be. <laughs> That's okay. I know there's a large amount of uh, Asian chasers there, so I'll be okay. There'll be there'll be uh, otters and the uh, well, who's gonna be there? The people I met there, yeah. very nice, yeah. Anyway, so Gary, okay, so what, what's going on? Uh, what, what's the latest with you there? In uh, area? I've been pretty busy uh, yeah. preparing for the run, putting things together. We just had a whole bunch of registrations come through today, uh, so I was busy. What's the price? Is the price going right up before we started? What's that, right? Is the price going up? Uh, the price does increase on February 1st. Okay. It goes up once each month as we get closer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, one of the things that uh, that really is a big attraction for, for Drench for, of course, is the, uh, is the uh, water park at Splash Lagoon. That's uh, something I've always told Ray about it. Bears I've seen and, the videos. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen the, the pictures. Now I get to experience it live. Yeah, that'll be nice. I want to see. I want to see Ray in the, in the, in the slide, <laughs> getting wet and everything. Wee wee. Okay, so let's talk about the the schedules of uh, schedule around the around the drench fur. So what's up? What's up Thursday? We'll be arriving Thursday. So what's up uh, Thursday? Well, Thursday is early arrivals. So uh, folks that are coming in from out of town, one of the things we planned is we're going out to uh, one of the local K bars that night. So I'm looking forward to letting folks kind of get, you know, a chance to meet some of the locals. Uh, we've actually started doing uh, bar nights here locally once a month. Uh, we did one this month of January. And despite the fact that it was a winter snowstorm outside, <laughs> it was well attended. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then so we're going to do another one coming up in February, one in March, a couple weeks before the run. So that Thursday night we'll kind of have established – folks who want, are interested in the bear community and, and what we're doing. So they'll be out on Thursday night. Um, and it's pretty low key, you know, no uh, real big, uh, you know, activities per se. And that is just go out, socialize, have a good time. I think the bar is really excited about Thursday. They're probably going to theme, maybe have some contests and that kind of stuff. I let them do their own thing. It makes it easier for us on our end. Exactly. It's at the zone, right? The zone. Yes. It's at the zone. They have, they have a uh, stripper pole. Oh, they do. Yeah. So that, does that mean you're going to be stripping again? I did last year. I think you should do the same. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna have race do the stripper pole this time. So me and uh, me and me and my uh, other Chicago friends were there. We were doing it. We were doing. We were around the uh, the zones stripper pole. So we're gonna have Ray uh, do it this time. And uh, I I well I I remember last year it did not pick up too much until late night I guess and that Thursday night. So I guess now there's more exposure. I guess. More people are going to come now. That I Thursday night. I hope so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And plus, this year, well, last year, uh, we had about half the run check in on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty big for us. It's every year, Thursday's attendance keeps increasing. I think people really like extending a run weekend. I know. So they're already there, considering they leave on Sunday. So uh, we could have quite a busy bar night on Thursday, I think, this year for the run. Yes, looking forward to that. That'd be great. Okay, so let's move on to Friday. What's up with Friday on that on that weekend? Uh, Friday, vendors are going to be setting up run uh, reg, you know, check in, uh, massage therapy services for those that are signing up. It's not part of the run package, but we do have the two massage therapists we had last year, uh, Steve and Jim. They were uh, well received. I got compliments. They both contacted me within the week after last year and were like, I want to come back and do it again next year. I had such a great time. Uh, so we've already got them booked. I just put them up on the website recently. Uh, we're having a social mixer that evening. And then we're going to have a dinner followed by a pool time in the atrium. Because as you saw at the hotel, there's a atrium that has some hotel rooms next to it. So we're actually scheduling time for folks just to hang out at the pool ah. i haven't uh, determined yet with the committee if we're going to do um like a game or an activity of any sort in the pool if we're just going to let everyone socialize on their own we'll see we'll see what happens i think right. we should play sink the nard sink the nard no sink the nard what yeah. <laughs> i can i guess you put nard in the middle of the pool and a little pink floaty and some little water wings and then all the bears have to go out there and try to sink him uh-huh that's right 